गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज रिलेटेड टू हिस्टोग्राम स्टेटिस्टिक्स सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन अ फाइव क्रॉस फाइव इनपुट डिजिटल इमेज इट इज गिवेन टू अस इट्स अ टू बिट इमेज एंड फॉर दिस इमेज वी हैव टू डिटरमाइन व्हाट इज द मीन ऑफ दिस इमेज व्हाट इज द वेरियंस ऑफ दिस इमेज एंड व्हाट इज द स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन ऑफ दिस इमेज सो टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन देर आर टू मैथड्स फर्स्ट मैथड इट इज कॉल एज द हिस्टोग्राम प्रोसेसिंग first method it is called as histogram processing and the mathematical equation of mean and the mathematical equation of variance it is given here so since it's a two bit image n is equals to 2 so for n equals to 2 L equals to two to the power n. That is equals to two to the power two. It is equals to four. So for mean, I should be varied from zero to L minus one. That is zero to three. R I into P R I, where R I is the I th intensity level, and P R I it is the probability density function or probability of occurrence of this I th gray level R I. Similarly, for variance, the mathematical equation is summation i equals to zero to l minus one. That is, i equals to zero to three. R i minus m whole square multiplied with p r i. So, in order to proceed in this question, we will make a table. In the first column, we will write r i. And R I we have to vary from zero to L minus one. In this case, L is equals to four, so R I should be vary from zero to L minus one, that is zero to three. That is zero Next, we will count the number of occurrence of each gray level. The number of occurrence of zero it is one, two, three, four, five, six. Similarly, the number of occurrence of one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The number of occurrence of two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And number of occurrence of three, it is one. Two, three, four, five. After determining this, we will count the total number of the pixel. So it is five plus seven plus seven plus six. It is equals to twenty-five. Now we will determine PRI. PRI is nothing but is equals to NRI divided by capital N. It means six divided by twenty-five up to two decimal place. It is zero point two four. Next, seven divided by twenty-five and up to two decimal place. It is zero point two eight. Similarly, seven divided by twenty-five up to two decimal place it is zero point two eight, and five divided by twenty-five it is zero point two. After determining PRI, next we will determine RI into PRI. RI multiplication with PRI, that is zero multiplied with zero point two four it is zero. One multiplied with zero point two eight, it is zero point two eight. Two multiplied with zero point two eight, it is zero point five six. And three multiplied with zero point two, it is zero point six. Now, in order to determine the mean from this expression, it is i equals to zero to l minus one summation r i into p r i. R i into p r i we have already determined. Now we will perform the summation operation. It means For mean, we have to add all this number. That is zero plus zero point two eight plus zero point five six plus zero point six. If we simplify this, 
it is coming to be 1.44 so mean we have determined it is 1.44 next we will determine vary uh, next we will determine the variance for variance we need to determine ri minus m whole square so ri minus m whole square ri is given here m we have already determined so we will determine ri minus m whole square value of m it is 1.44 so ri for this gray level 0 ri minus m whole square it means 0 minus 1.44 whole square up to two decimal place it is 2.07 next for this gray level 1 1 minus 1.44 whole square up to two decimal place it is 0 0.19 next for this gray level 2 2 minus 1.44 whole square up to two decimal place it is 0 0.31 and next for this gray level ri equals to 3 3 minus 1.44 whole square up to two decimal place it is coming to be 2.43 ri minus m whole square we have determined now we will determine ri minus m whole square into pri So ri minus m whole square this column and pri is this column it means 2.07 multiplied by 0 0.24 up to two decimal place it is 0 0.50 next 0 0.19 multiplied by 0 0.28 up to two decimal place it is 0 0.05 next 0 0.31 multiplied by 0 0.28 up to two decimal place it is 0 0.09 and next 2.43 multiplied with 0 0.2 up to two decimal place it is 0 0.49 now we have determined ri minus m whole square into pri now in order to determine the variance we have to perform the summation from i equals to 0 to l minus 1. So for variance we have to do summation of all these numbers that is equals to 0 0.50 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.09 plus 0 0.49 after simplification it is coming to be 1.13 now mean we have determined 1.44 variance we have determined 1.13 and there is a simple relationship between the standard deviation and the variance the standard deviation it is equals to under root variance that is equals to under root 1.13 which on simplification which on simplification up to two decimal place we will obtain 1.06 so this approach it is called as histogram processing approach next approach it is called as the classical approach in classical approach the mathematical equation it is given here mean m is equals to 1 by mn where m represent the number of rows and n represent the number of column summation x equals to 0 to m minus 1 summation y equals to 0 to n minus 1 f of x y it means x equals to 0 to m minus 1 represent all the rows and y equals to 0 to n minus 1 represent all the column and summation of summation both of f of f of x y it means summation of all the pixels 
present in an image. So first we will determine what is the number of rows and number of column of this image. The number of rows in this image it is m equals to 5 and number of column in this image that is n is equals to 5. So first we will determine the mean. So for mean it is equals to 1 by mn. So it is 5 into 5 and summation of all these pixels. So we can write like this 0 plus 0 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 and so on. In this manner also you can write or you can write in very systematic manner like this. 0 is repeating for the 6 times. So we will write 0 into 6 plus Gray level 1 it is repeated for 7 times so I will write 1 into 7 plus gray level 2 it is repeated for the 7 times so I will write 2 into 7 plus and gray level 3 it is repeated for the 5 times so I will write 3 into 5. Which on simplification it will give thirty six by twenty five and up to two decimal place it is equals to one point four four. Next we will determine the variance. Again for variance one by mn it means one divided by five into five. Summation of x equals to zero to m minus one summation of y equals to zero to n minus one f of xy minus m whole square it means for all pixels we have to write the expression like 0 minus this mean value 1.44 whole square next for this pixel again i will write 0 minus 1.44 whole square for 1 i have to write 1 minus 1.44 whole square similarly for all pixels we have to write or we can write in very systematic manner like 0 minus 1.44 whole square multiplied by 6 number of times similarly 1 minus 1.44 whole square multiplied with 7 number of times plus 2 minus 1.44 whole square multiplied with 7 number of times and plus 3 minus 1.44 whole square with 5 number of times which on simplification it will give you 1 by 25 multiplied with 28.17 which on simplification will give 1.13 and if uh, we have to determine the standard deviation for a standard deviation the mathematical equation it is under root of variance that is under root of 1.13 which on simplification it will give you 1.13 1.06 up to 2 decimal place. So by, so by applying method 1 that is histogram processing or method 2 that is the classical approach, the value of mean, the value of standard, uh, sorry, the value of variance and the value of standard deviation in both the cases are same. Thank you.